Apple has just released iOS 17.2 and there's a bunch of new features that I love that you absolutely need to check out. All right, let's start everything off with new sound effects. So now if we jump over to settings, sound and haptics, and then we jump over to new text tone, for example, we get a bunch of new sound effects. Check them out. This one's probably my favorite. And the haptic feedback of the phone itself, it feels different as well and it adapts to the sound effect as well. I love this one. The second new feature is not a feature, it's a totally new app made by Apple called the Journal app. You can add a new entry and you can add photos, you can add locations, you can add a quote, a reflection, a contact, a video, a quote whatever you want as you can see i actually wrote this one the other day when i was celebrating my birthday with my family you know i wrote it in in my language but i basically said that i went to a restaurant i ate breakfast with my girlfriend i was a little bit stressed out and then this one you know i talked about that we're building you know my upcoming studio and everything so it's a very relatively very simple app and as i said to create a new one you basically tap new entry and you can start writing right away you can even add a voice memo the so journal app is something that I definitely want to get into a lot more. I think it's a lot of fun. You know, once you've actually done it for like six months, I think it's going to be really awesome to see all of the journals. It's kind of like a like a diary. Let's jump over to Apple Music because there's so many new features with iOS 17.2. First of all, you can now favorite songs with this new favorite icon right here. And what's cool about it is not only will you let Apple Music what you like and what you don't for more and better recommendations you now get a dedicated favorite songs playlist so as soon as you can see as soon as you favorite a song it will go automatically to your favorite songs playlist this is so useful and so handy because of its simplicity as soon as you like a song you basically just favorite it and it will go automatically here you can now customize your playlist artwork by tapping on edit and then tapping over here and as you can see I'm actually getting a bunch of different artwork of my playlist with a bunch of different styles. Depending on your actual playlist cover, it will give you different colors and recommendations, which is pretty neat. And the feature that we've all been waiting for as Apple Music fans, that's something that Spotify has had for a very long time, is collaborative playlists. So as you can see, I've added these songs to this playlist, but if my girlfriend were to add songs to this Afrobeats playlist, I would be seeing her here. Since we're moving to a co-working slash office space, all of us at the office, we're actually gonna create a playlist all together, which is so cool. So I mean, if you're a family, or if you're, well, in an office, well, you guys can all add music to a specific playlist. I'm so happy. I know this was a feature that should have come a long time ago, but either way, I'm happy that it's finally here. We also get a brand new feature for those of you who have the iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max because the action button now has a new feature, which is translate. So now if I tap on the action button, hello, how are you? As you can see, it now recognized that it was in English and it's now translating it in Spanish. And if I pull up the volume, Enviar botón. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? I can imagine this being so useful when traveling. I just tap the accent button. Where is the nearest subway station? And by the way, can we please talk on how beautiful the animation actually is? I mean, once again, Apple animations are just unmatched. There's also a new feature that is very future-proof that is inside of the camera, which is this icon right here. The iPhone 15 models can now shoot for the Apple Vision Pro. The iPhone 15 models can now shoot spatial video. Check this out. I was recently in a Barcelona game and I recorded this video on spatial. And as you can see up in the top left, once you film the video in spatial, you're gonna have that icon right here. Keep in mind that these videos actually consume a lot of storage. This is a three second video and it's 5.7 megabytes, a three second video. So I can't imagine filming like a five minute video, but it's gonna be so magical filming spatial video for certain memories that you just wanna relive later on. iMessage also gets a couple new features. First off, you can actually react now to a message with a direct sticker. As you can see, we've got an add sticker button. You can tap that and you can actually select all the stickers that you have. You can choose from emojis or actual stickers that you might have. For example, I can just throw a tap back over here and just give him a thumbs up. And emojis also gets a bunch more customization, for example, with new clothing styles. And in terms of the body, you can actually select your body waist, your chest, 
So if you can actually select your breast or your chest size, shoulder size. So I mean, you can make yourself thinner, thicker. Customization, obviously for inclusivity for anyone, Apple is always a main protagonist in this space. We also get a couple new widgets, for example, the weather one. These right here are new. This one will see the chance of precipitation, UV, index, wind, and more. And this one will basically give you a daily forecast and upcoming days on um, how it's actually gonna be like. So these are pretty cool and actually quite useful. So if you just wanna know the weather right on your home screen, you can see that right there. And we've also got new clock widgets, such as this clock digital, if you wanna see some digital time. Times. So you can see we've got a bunch now with iOS 17 in general. It's so cool, but this analog one, this clock digital, I mean, come on, it looks great. You can now customize your contact poster a little bit further. If you tap on the text, you're now gonna get this new rainbow color, which is super cool. You can still make it thicker and thinner, but this rainbow color is new. Obviously you get all the colors, but this rainbow in particular is new which I think is quite awesome. Those are all my new favorite new features in iOS 17.2. This will definitely make my iPhone 15 Pro a lot more useful. If you actually wanna see me traveling though with my iPhone 15 Pro, you can tap this video right here. Or if you just wanna see a standard day in my life, you can tap this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.